Hello everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video about R Studio in R language for statistical analysis that I've recently been playing with. Um, it's a free tool and that is an alternative for proprietary software like SPSS, um, Stata, and other softwares. Um, it's absolutely free, um, even though it comes with a cost with steeper learning curves. So today I'm going to show you briefly how to install that and then how to use that. Um, so first you need an IDE, the development environment that you're going to be using. I use RStudio for that, so you can go ahead and download it from the website. Um, Simply go, press download, and you're going to download and install that. Once you have downloaded that, um, this is how it's going to look like, the interface. I'm not going to do the whole step and download it and install it. Um, I have a sample code in front of me, um, so I'm going to go through it one by one to show you how it works. The wonderful part with R is that it comes with different data sets that you can play with in order to learn R. Um, you also have a help menu here so you can simply write different codes for example if you want to write about regression or correlation or different functions well let's use the packet psych and i'm going to show you the documentation about psych package here so you can read as you go if you don't understand anything so first of all let's go and let me remove all the output. So this window is the one where you code, and that's where your output is going to be. And then on this window on the right, we have viewers, and uh, that is the graphical output here for our um, results. And here is the environment where we actually see all our files that we have loaded in one project. So as someone new, when you're going to start the our first time, what are you going to go? Um, what you're going to do is go here on top and start uh, an R script uh, and then you can start coding. Um, I'm not going to go deep into that to not make it overly complicated. So let's go ahead and first load our data sets. Um, so if you press data, and by the way, when you want to run the code, um, just stick your cursor in the end, press control and then press enter on Windows. I guess that's command enter on Mac and there will be a new window with all the data sets in that and you'll have a brief description of different data sets so the one that I'm going to use today is the scores of um, sad and act data sets so you're gonna go and press sad and act and if you want to force that data set so what it does is that you know it shows you the um, data set and um, some of its variables. So we have gender, one being male, two being female, and then we have the education, one being high school, and five being the graduate level. And then we have ages, act scores, um, and act mean scores, and then sad verbal and sad quantitative. Um, so we're going to go, and if you want to see the quick statistics of um, the sad, but first of all, let's go and see the data here so if you press describe and then put the data set name you're going to see the variable count and the total sample size their mean standard deviations median frames ma minimum maximum skewness and kurtosis um, so now we're going to go ahead and make a quick correlation plot and that's something that I wanted to show you that how easy that is to make correlation plots in R if you have the right syntax. Um, you can easily find the syntax for correlation plots, regression, factor analysis. Um, you could use different libraries for that. You can use psych package. Um, if you want to know more, just simply uh, search for R documentation online and you'll find it. So here we have a correlation plot and that is going to give us the correlation between gender, education, age, act mean scores, SAT verbal, and SAT quantitative. Um, do not be intimidated by the con um, by the complexity of this 
um, line just you can simply copy paste it um, just remove the name of the data set with the I'm sorry replace it with the one that you have and then you can go from there so right now so we're going to write core plot set dot act which is the data set we have and then leave everything as it is and we're going to press control enter and voila we have this wonderful looking correlation plot that actually uh, on the diagonal we have the perfect correlations because it's correlating with itself and then we have the go for it, um, correlation coefficients with everything else and we also have a um, scale here that will tell us and it's kind of a heat map version of that uh, which looks super cool you can also export it in image and pdf files um, to insert into your research papers so that was a quick overview of our language and we're going to be uh, doing more of these in the future but for now i just wanted to give you a rough idea so if you have any questions feel free to ask me and drop me a line and i'd be more than happy to help you with that thank you so much